Hey guys, C Drama Invasion here, and welcome back to a new video. This week it's been crazy as usual. This will be a longer episode, I believe. But let's go through the outline of what we'll talk about today. As usual, we'll start off with all the dramas that recently aired or will air in the following few days as this one goes up. But if you do hear any noises, it's um we're just moving around things in the background, so just don't mind that. Anyways, let's start off with Forever Never. This drama airs on September 6th and it aired on Aichi and Tencent Video. This is the following sequel to One and Only and a lot of people have been wondering if you should watch the prequel and of course my answer is yes. I do have a review up soon. I don't know how soon but I did film it but there's just so much news and scandals regulations to talk about. So I did make those in separate videos so that review video will come out a little bit later than expected. Anyways, this one stars Alan Ren and Bai Lu. It is a romance drama set in the modern time, but they do have the same names and is the reincarnation of the previous prequel, One and Only. This is about Shu Yi, who is a gentle, pleasant, low-key girl in the voice actress industry. She meets a chemistry professor named Shang Chen at the airport and they feel like they click and just known each other for a long time and they just slowly fall in love. On September 7th, Yuku announced that Jun Jiu Ling, starring Pang Xia Ran and Jin Han, a historical mystery romance drama, airs. There might be an English title up when this aired, but I'm filming it a day earlier when they announced it. So. This is the only title that is announced right now, which is the non-translated version, but if there's an English one up, I'll definitely leave it all in the description box below. But this story is about a girl who realizes on her wedding day that her uncle, which is actually the current emperor, is her father's killer. She decides to seek revenge by taking on a new identity and coming back into the palace secretly with the goal of finding out the truth of the whole situation and on the way she meets three different men and I believe there's some type of love square or reverse harem situation involved. Personally, I'm not a fan of Jin Han and his personality. If you've seen the channel or if you search it up on my channel, you'd know what scandals I've been talking about but because it is fictional and I do like Pang Xiao Ren, as long as the script and acting is good then I'm fine with it and I'm excited to watch it. Also on September 7th, we have Master Wait a Moment. This is a friendship mystery comedy starring Lin Yu Shen and Liu Yi Tong. This is about two cops who have a master and apprentice relationship. They both also have opposite personalities and a misunderstanding ensues where one of the cops go undercover without knowing that their captain is actually on the same side, but they end up being in a cat and mouse game type of situation. This drama looks like it's a breath of fresh air in between all the currently other airing dramas, but unfortunately it's on Mango TV. So if you're interested, then you do have to wait around a month or at least two weeks for these subs to be properly translated into English. On September 8th, Go Into Your Heart, which used to be known as Chess Love, starring Landy Lee and Niu Jun Feng, airs. It's a rom-com sports drama. This is a fake relationship romance between a rising star in the world of professional Go and a young trainee and reporter. And unfortunately, on September 8th, there was supposed to be another drama, a very highly anticipated drama, and it is The Oath of Love starring Xiao Zhan and Yang Zi. However, Hunan TV recently released a statement saying that there are delays and reschedule changes, and at the moment, there's no new air date. A lot of fans are speculating that this has to do with the Chen Feng incident. He's on Day Day Up and he's a host there, which is under Hunan TV. And his scandal just affected this and a lot of people have been criticizing Hunan TV because they dealt with it poorly, the whole situation. If you're not too familiar with the situation, make sure to check out my Chinese Scandals Playlist Explained videos. In the description box, you can scroll around and Watch that Day Day Up Scandal Explain video and you'll understand the situation more. Last but not least is Cute Programmer, a 24 episode Tencent rom-com drama starring Xing Zalin and Bambi Zhu. 
This is about the female lead story where she had a crush on the male lead in university, but he never knew. And a year or so goes by, or a couple months goes by, she graduates and gets accepted into his company. They end up being in a contract marriage for one year, and he slowly finds her attractive and falls for her. Okay, now to the news portion. We recently have Luhan Studio who issued a statement saying that they will be terminating their contract with Adama Pigue. Not sure if I pronounced that right, but it's a Switzerland luxury brand. But they decided this because there was an accident where the brand called Taiwan a country. And if you follow anything about Chinese politics or news, you know that China is very big on nationalism and they want to take back Taiwan. So they believe that Taiwan is not separate and wants to take Taiwan back. So they discourage any Chinese citizens from supporting Taiwan's movement of freedom, liberation, and independence. We also have a couple of romance rumors that I forgot to address in the previous videos, but here is Zhang Yuxi and Liu Shuiyi. There's been rumors that they've been dating since he was spotted visiting her home straight after work and leaving the next morning. Her studio responds stating that, no, this is not true. They have a good relationship and they actually live in the same apartment complex. They often visit each other since they live really close. And at this place, there's only a few entrances and exits, which is why you can see them often go in and out of this place together or sometimes separately, but near the same time. The other dating rumor is that Lai Guang Lin and So Ye has been dating for a while now. They've been caught going back and forth into dinner and then into each other's homes and hotels for the past few weeks. However, none of the parties actually responded to the dating allegations, but most people are taking their silence as confirmation and the internet is quite positive and they're excited for this new young couple. There's a rumor that my roommate is a detective is going to start shooting around October this year. It's not official whether or not the main male lead duo Hu Yitian and Zhang Yunlong will come back or not, but based off of the rumors, it's more leaning to the side that they will come back. And in the previous episode, I did talk about the new Xinglang um, internet social media campaign, but I did skip over a bit of the new policy for Aichiyi. So regarding all of the platforms making new rules and changes to social media detox, China's TV Association, a huge meeting and event that happened recently last week, Aichiyi CEO came out with an official statement saying that their platform is trying to make new rules. So they decided to cancel all upcoming survival idol shows for the next few years. If you don't know what happened, watch my Youth With You Milk Scandal Explain video for the full story. It's also in that Chinese Scandals Explain playlist. But a quick rundown of what happened was a couple months back, Aichi's Youth With You survival show got canceled around, I think, near the end of the season. So I think there was only a couple weeks left for voting and the debut to come out and result to come out. However, they found out that people were just dumping a bunch of yogurt and milk drinks into drains, and it was just very wasteful and insensitive, especially during the COVID pandemic season. And this is because you can vote by buying these milk drinks, and people would buy massive, massive amounts, and then they would just throw it all out. So now they're trying to figure out a way that sponsorships can still come in, but they're not being as wasteful. So they're trying to change up the entire rules systems of how these survival shows will work. Um, lastly, we have two rumored dramas. The first one will star Zhao Lusu and Liu Haoren or Bai Jingting, but people are saying that it's most likely going to be Liu Haoren than Bai Jingting. Rumors are that this drama will start filming by the end of the year. Zhao Lusu has been so busy this year. I think she filmed like five dramas back to back. Anyways, I think this one is a modern romance drama. The next rumor drama is a Shansha romance drama starring Ding Yuxi and Yang Xiaoyue. They were both on the show called Heart Signal, I think season two, and they got along really well. So now there's rumors that a lot of people want to see them in a drama, so sponsors are picking them for this next big project 
Rumors are that the filming will be slated around October. And last but not least, here are some photos of the Night Wanderer starring Nini and Danglen. There's a lot of fan taking photos and people are just so happy to see Danglen back in the historical romance industry and they just look so good in Republican drama era style clothing. But anyways, this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. For more of the news and updates, especially regarding policy changes, I recently made a video on the new bans in China. So those are the BL ban and also the ban for feminine style for men. So if you haven't seen those, make sure to do so. Give this video a big thumbs up for this video. Comment down below any rose emoji. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for supporting. For anyone who wants to donate to my Ko-Fi, buy me a coffee. I'll leave links in the description box below as well as all the names and titles for the dramas we talked about as usual. Um, turn on notification bells to all so you don't miss out on future videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!